Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today I am bringing you the Southern Utah Thunderbirds roster reveal and Season 1 schedule breakdown. Let's go ahead and take a look at the offense for Southern Utah. Quarterback, Owen Gregory, number 18, 6'2", 205 pounds, raw talent. Halfback, Cameron Matthews, 5'11", 185, raw. Fullback, Brandon Lee, number 22, 6'2", 235, athletic. Wide receiver, Jaquan Freeman, 6'4", 215, smart. Another wide receiver here, Prince McCutcheon, 6'4", 190, athletic. And to round out the offense, we have a right guard, Brandon Red, he's 6'6", 303 pounds. Now this offense doesn't have a lot of linemen, but they do have one, so they have a little bit of an edge there against the other FCS defensive lines. We got a good halfback who can catch, run, and block. A fullback who's very fast, very strong. One wide receiver that's not going to really drop any passes, and one with electric speed. And I think this offense is going to do pretty well. They're pretty well balanced, I think. And no quarterback battle, so they got that going for them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the defense. Defensive end, Jericho Stevens, 6'4", 260 pounds. Defensive tackle, Adam Joseph, 5'10", 258 Middle linebacker Donald Lee Jr., number 42. He's 5'10", 220, athletic. Corner C.J. Moreland, 5'11", 180, raw. And strong safety Bryce King, who is 6'2", 228 pounds. And the head coach is Donald Lee Sr., father of Donald Lee Jr., obviously. The middle linebacker for the Thunderbirds. Well, this defense is pretty well balanced as well, just like the offense. They got two linemen, a middle linebacker who is athletic, so he can patrol the entire field, a raw corner who can tackle and pass cover and come up and stuff the run. Strong safety with a raw talent as well. And I think this might be my favorite roster so far out of all of the teams. Just because of how well balanced they are. They've got a bunch of raw players, smart players, and athletic. They're not just stacked with a bunch of one player build. So I think that's really going to help them out in Season 1. And let's go ahead and take a look at who the Thunderbirds will be taking on in Year 1. And first glance at the Thunderbirds schedule. It looks pretty rough for the first four games. Four or five games actually. Out of the first five games, there are four ranked opponents. And then we go down the list and you see more subscriber teams. This is a really brutal schedule, I think. So that might be rough for the Thunderbirds in year one. But let's take a look at it from the top down. Game one, they host the number 17 ranked Army Black Knights out of the FBS Independence. Game two, they travel to Colorado to take on the number eight ranked Air Force Falcons out of the Mountain West Conference. Game three, they finally get a break and they start their Pac-10 play against the Idaho State Bengals in Southern Utah. Game four, they host the number 25 ranked Buffalo Bulls out of the MAC. And game five, they travel to New Mexico to take on the fourth ranked New Mexico Lobos out of the Mountain West Conference. And that ends their non-conference play and now we get into the bulk of the Pac-10 play. They travel out to Sacramento State to take on the Hornets for Game 6. And again, they travel this time to Arizona for Game 7 to take on the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks. And this is where the schedule again gets brutal for the Thunderbirds. Game 8, they host the San Diego Toreros. Game 9, they travel to take on the Eastern Washington Eagles. And the final three games are all against subscriber teams. So four out of the last five games really could go either way. And four out of the first five games are going to be really tough for the Thunderbirds. But game 10, they host the Northern Colorado Bears. Game 11, they travel to take on the Cal Poly Mustangs. And game 12, they come back home to host the UC Davis Aggies and finish off the season. That'll be their senior day 
and I really just think this schedule is insane and the, the Thunderbirds are gonna have a rough time I think I think just looking at the schedule maybe five or six wins for the Thunderbirds even with how well balanced I think their team is those first four or five games are just extremely brutal and then there's subscriber versus subscriber games which obviously can go either way with the computer playing them but I'm gonna say that they'll get a, a bowl game at least so maybe five or six wins and they'll get a bowl bid but hopefully I'm proved wrong and the Thunderbirds can pull off some tough wins here well, let me know what you guys think of this insane schedule for Southern Utah and how do you think their offense and defense are balanced? Let me know in the comments section below, guys. I will see you tomorrow with the UC Davis Aggies roster reveal and season one schedule breakdown. Until then, take it easy, guys.